HMS Victory. Yeah. Okay, Arundel Castle. Definitely the best pier in the country. Oh, without a doubt. Hey guys. Uh oh. Uh oh, it never takes her long. I guess that. So. <laughs> oh, okay. As we reach our final destination along the Sussex coast, we still have plenty to explore. We've arrived in a town still synonymous with the battle back in 1066, but despite its historic roots, Hastings today is far from being old fashioned. We're in uh, Hastings. Lots to see in Hastings. Oh yeah? Brilliant seaside town. We've got some cool things lined up as well. Have hey. we? Oh yeah, I've, well, seen, I've, I've seen the schedule. Come on, tell yeah. us. No, we're going there now. Okay. Bye. So we're at Source Park, which is a BMX park. Underground, it used to be a public swimming pool and now it's an incredible BMX track. It's great for youngsters to come here, somewhere for them to go. You need more of this stuff all up and down the country. And we're going to have a go on a bike. Also, the bikes are not what I thought. I didn't realise BMX bikes were so different to regular bikes, but they're like really low down. And they only have one brake, which makes me nervous because I keep going, there's nothing there. Uh, so I'm here with Ali at Source Skate Park. Um, Ali, tell me a little bit about uh, like where we are, what the, what the place is. Uh, so we're underneath Hastings and Seafront. Yeah. Um, it's the world's largest underground skate park. We've been running for about... The world's largest. The world's largest. I don't know how many underground skate parks there are <laughs> in the world, but yeah, it's the world's largest underground skate park. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've been here for uh, three and a half years now, just over three and a half years. Uh, how many people do you sort of get um, through the door? Uh, it's, it varies. We can, summers are more quiet for us. Really? When the weather's nicer, people are at the outdoor skate park. Of course. You know, so yeah, yeah. It's our busier time. But uh, we also have a coaching program. So on a Monday and Tuesday, we coach maybe 150 kids. On wow. Monday and Tuesday, and then throughout the week we do private lessons. So, so we coach yeah, probably about 200 yeah, yeah. people a week. We host a competition here. I don't know if you've heard of it, the Battle of Hastings. Uh, no, I haven't. No, no, no. So it's one of the biggest BMX competitions in the world. Yeah. Uh, and we have about 60 to 80 of the world's biggest BMXers travel from everywhere: Australia, America, Japan. Yeah. They all come here for a, it's a one week uh, event, and yeah, then it is just chaos. Here. We have like 600 spectators. Right, like a day Jeez. throughout the weekend. So all of these families are filled with people. We sell out tickets in a day. So the tickets aren't sale for yet. the for the spectators. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the tickets aren't out yet, but the yeah. second we release them, they go. The they just got day, Yeah. Well, thank you, Ali, so much for, right. for talking with us. What you do here is just it's just amazing. Yeah, thank yeah. you. We're lucky to have it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> thank you very much. Cool. No worries. Cheers. <laughs> How are you getting on? It's quite hard, you know. I'm not sure it's gonna happen. I'll, I'll be honest with you. Like we've done, we went up on the roller coaster. Yeah. You went up on the plane, I would have done that, I would have done all that. We've done the boat, we've done all that stuff. This petrifies me more than anything. I can't even sit on it. And then it's cameraman even... Joe told us you're not meant to sit on it. No, it's they're too low to sit on. I've got these young kids coming over here. I'm going to get over there because it's quiet over there. And then I'm going to get on it. it. It's really a skill. Right, ready? You going to go? Yeah, masterclass. No, you're not here. sitting on it. Oh, oh, I need to sit on it to get on it. <laughs> He's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> Whoa. What? Oh, he's coming at me. Okay, I'm not doing that. Sitting, look, that's safe. Look, look, safe. I, I mean, I'm really pleased that I'm not doing this. It looks a little bit terrifying when you've got the professionals doing it and Charlie doing whatever what? he does best, which I have no idea what it is. Sam, 
Sam? Yeah. It's much harder than it looks. I mean, you're making it look so elegant. I know. It's it's a <laughs> <laughs> As I recover from my BMX experience, Lizzie takes us to the old town of Hastings, where a lady called Brenda runs an incredible shop and museum. Lizzie finds out about the one-of-a-kind skill of artificial flower making. Um, this is your shop. Can you tell us a bit about it and how it started? The business is 109 years old. Wow. And I'm only the second owner in all that time. So how long have you been doing it? I've been doing it for over 30 years. Wow. Do you ever show people how, how to make the flowers? Oh yes, because I have um, people book lessons and they come in or we have people from all walks of life we come in, you'll yeah. find from our visitors book. And I yeah. understand you've had your flowers in all sorts of different um, films and oh, yes, exciting films, things. Uh, royalty. Yeah? Yes, yes, all sorts. What are some of your favourites? Uh, well, we do so many. <laughs> you can't remember. But if you enjoy what you're doing, everything is a favourite. Yeah. Oh, because that's a lovely thing to say. <laughs> that's a stage version wow. of Frozen. In we Broadway? Did that, was it about 12 months ago we did the pause, wasn't it? Like and about 12 and are you going to do it when it comes to the West End as well? Oh, yes. Um, what's his name? Um, Andrew Lloyd Webber. He's bringing it over. And your flowers are all over the set? Uh, yes. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, you guess you don't even find it amazing anymore because yeah. you've got so many cool things under your belt. <laughs> with with the children as the gladiator people, because we produce everything for gladiators, mm. you know, they came down in the arena and all the blood red uh, petals and all that. So the children always think of us as gladiator yeah. people, don't they? Yeah. Sam, so, yeah. usually when I'm around this many flowers, yes. my hay fever is to have my eyes are watering, yeah. but they're fake. Uh, so that's fine. They don't look fake though. No, because they're so good. They are really, really good. I mean, Quite Brenda is a, is a expert. Yeah, yeah. Here's some of the tools. You see, we've got yeah. 10,000 tools of the trade. So, so how do, does that work? Are they kind of like stamps? That's what you cut them out with. Mm. You cut out the shapes with these. And if you go in there, yeah. you see thousands more. Because each one, you see, if you are, there's your oak leaves, mm. your ivy leaves. Each one has got to be authentic. Yeah. Marianne so, North is the person who used to go ab abroad painting, um, uh, shall we say, leaves and flowers in all the jungles, mm. and she used to bring them back. Used to go to the manufacturers, and they used to reproduce them. Uh, so this is actually Brenda's private collection. Um, we've got the woman up at the top, who's Brenda's mum, and then the one below is actually her dad. Amazing, isn't it? So have you ever made any flowers um, that are not real, like for a sci-fi film or something strange and mystical that you created yourself? Done Lady Gaga stuff, you know, that sort of stuff. So and the, and the, uh, the um, designer came down, she chose the shape she wanted and everything else. Oh yes, yeah, so we've done peculiar things. Oh, cannabis. <laughs> um, uh, uh, Theatre we supply uh, uh, across in France and um, They'd been refused. They weren't allowed to um, use live cannabis, obviously on the stage. Mm. So they said, "Oh, Brenda, could you make it up for us?" Did I? Did I? And it was very. They thrilled a bit. It was very. Exciting. Then the inspectors came along, and they were refused permission to put it on because it looked too realistic. Really? <laughs> There's our cannabis yeah. selection. It's the Phantom of the size. Opera. Brenda made the rose for Andrew Lloyd Webber's production. And the reason they it's incredible. So Letter from the Queen. Wow. And I sent a, a huge daffodil taller than her. That you sent her one, or she sent yes, you one? Yes, when it was the was it the jubilee her jubilee when they all came up the mall, children carrying daffodils, and I said I'm going to send her a giant daffodil and oh. the, and the, the stuff. Thought I was a bit, you know. <laughs> I sent it. But she it went on the Thursday. She received it on the Friday. Yes. I had a letter back on the Monday morning. And she must taken, have really liked it then. <laughs> she said it was taken to Windsor Castle in a private apartment. Say, she liked it so much. Oh my! There's so many wonderful things to see here. I definitely think like this is a hidden gem. Well, not quite so hidden since you're yeah, famous, yeah, basically. <laughs> People, you know, do say it's absolutely wonderful to see it. Yeah.
Lizzie and Sam. Yes. Yeah. We've done boats, planes, trains, 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 planes, walking, walking, cars, bikes. bikes. We've done trains. Yes. But we've not done one that goes up a cliff. Oh, that's high. What a cool way to end, though. Yeah. Can't wait. Although we did do the rock climbing wall as well, didn't we? So it's kind of like merging the two together. <sighs> You're right. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, there are a few others that are outside the UK. Are there? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so all over, all over the world. All but, over the world. Um, apparently, this is the steepest one in the UK. It does look it pretty looks That's a 78% gradient. 78? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's pretty steep. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't want to walk it. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, oh there we go. Oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, the other one's coming at the same time. So you yeah. pass the other ones and you give them a little wave. Do they, as they always go past. do that? They're yeah, going to wave. Well, yeah, so that, that's, that's how they work. It's like a funicular system. So it's a counterweight thing. Oh. So, um, I mean, it, back, in, back in the olden days, they used to have water, which they put in the top of the carriage. Um, and that's how they used to keep oh. the weight balanced. It worked. Can but... I stand up? Go on, go for it, go on. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, does it go? Are you allowed? Yeah, it goes oh, we're gonna hear it straight through the door. Oh, it does well, feel that was, like that was a bit quick, it. wasn't Ooh. it? <laughs> we're up. We're yeah. here. Oh, sorry. I mean, that was a bit, bit quicker than I was expecting. It was, wasn't so, it? So that was pretty speedy. Well, the top of Hastings, this stunning view, and look right the way over there. Yeah. That's where we started. What's oh, on that point over there? Nah, uh, miles past that. Right the way in Portsmouth, in Hampshire. Okay, it wasn't Sussex, <laughs> but we then did the whole of Sussex. We've seen everything. We yeah. have, and I mean, I've never really visited all of Sussex before, but I mean, there have been so many incredible things that we've seen oh, that yeah. I didn't even know were there. You went up in a plane. You I, saw it from above. I did go in a plane. I I was gonna say I can't pick a favourite point, but that probably. Oh, wasn't. For me, for me, the train was definitely driving. The train was definitely. You driving that, and me. Yeah. Driving the bike, no, it wasn't the bike. I oh. think you getting uh, dressed up. You like that? Yeah. That was you like you it. Did look fabulous. I just sort of find my inner. You know my that was your favourite really cool. Oh yeah. So what do you reckon then for a series two? How do we top it? Where do we go? I don't know. We don't know don't yet. Know. But I think there's got to be another one, isn't there? Definitely. Yeah. yeah I we'll, so. um, <laughs> we'll go home and sleep first, eh? Yeah. Okay. <laughs>